back on this fourth part of uh, how to use, um, how to update or to, um, to leverage on the labeling process and uh, especially with uh, the tools uh, Label Studio for NLP task and for other type of task. So uh, this is a mix between uh, this article that is released on, I think they're on their blog and also this part. So we're gonna see the use case three, which is uh, using the machine learning prediction server, still with this uh, PyTorch uh, sentiment analysis. You can find uh, all the element uh, right here on my, on my GitHub account, and you can find also the element on their GitHub account. And also if for the people who want to dig a little bit more on the PyTorch sentiment analysis, you have the original uh, post uh, on this GitHub. Okay, so I still have my, um, I still have my, um, uh, sorry, my Label Studio working. I think I need to, uh, so I'm gonna start from scratch. So let's, uh, let's dig it and let's remove it. So I remove because sometimes when there are too many things inside, uh, you have uh, too many records or too many tasks, I'm getting confused. I'm getting easily confused. So data import, I'm gonna use um, the label, okay? So I'm not using the prediction, I'm gonna use the label because I want then to do the contrary of the of what I've done before. So uh, pre-annotating. So right here, I'm gonna select list of tasks and then go in the this one, uh, avoid and say this is review. So I'm doing exactly the same thing. And maybe I can right away put prediction. And there's no prediction result for the moment. Okay, so I will work now on the ability to create this machine learning. So I will come right here because I've already prepared some of the command. So always be sure, and I'm using this console. So remember, I'm using uh, this Anaconda environment, like the one I was using here, okay? And there's just my, uh, this third console that contains the label studio and the dockers that have been launched in the very beginning of the video. Okay, so let's launch the creation. So you see in the requirement, I'm using label studio ML. That's exactly what I was working. And I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna start this machine learning. So let's say uh, I will call it three because I make few attempts, as you can imagine. So I will replace three everywhere. So we're gonna do it right away. So I'm gonna copy, enfin, it's gonna copy more precisely sentiment API, which is this one. And the sentiment API, that's the one grab and is leveraging on the Label Studio class, okay? Don't ask me the details of the code. What is interesting is gonna do the job Okay, so he has create this, uh, the first directory where you have the stuff. And if I do, I copy all the element, especially uh, the sentiment CNN, so that this one, okay, where it's more like the real machine learning stuff. Okay, then I will do the data. So you can see the data right here that has been created. And I'm gonna copy this element inside this machine learning. Okay. So I clear and I check. Yeah, you have the same thing. Then I'm gonna get into this directory. Okay. And I'm gonna start this machine learning server okay so i have here the address that i'm gonna put inside my machine learning right here okay so this is machine learning and then there's nothing select and i'm gonna add a model and i say movie sentiment ml 
and I save it. I need to click on retrieve the prediction when loading a test. And then you have it working right here. So if you launch start training, you see I save and I click on start training. So I have this version and normally it should start. And if I pay a look to this sentiment analysis, I should see the machine working. Yeah, it starts to work. You see? See? He has, he's making the prediction for all the stuff. You see? And if I refresh again, so he's, he's going through. So my, my computer is pretty slow, but this is taking all the task and giving the probability like we did previously. Okay? So that's pretty interesting. Then the people is going to annotate. I'm going to validate. Okay, so normally it should be done. I don't know, it takes a little bit of time. So imagine if you're working on a bigger sample, then it will take more time. There's only 100. I think. Yeah, and you see they have uh, like the same before prediction. And then you have this model. That's the name of the model right here. So 4005. And that's, whoops. That's 4005. Okay, and 4005 make 100 prediction. Okay, so I can retry again. Uh, maybe with another if I need, but then I have this prediction and then these people can validate. So you see, this one is the worst movie. Yes, right. And I'm still going, but it has been pre annotated by the machine learning model. Okay. And then, yeah. And then you go back to the, you do back to the regular job that you have to do. Okay. And I think you, you type quit and then it will. And if you need to restart, so basically right here, I think it disappear, it's disconnected and you have your 100 prediction, but then you can, you can also retrain your model and reuse the pre-train. If you restart, Okay, does it change? Yeah, connected. And this one, the number has changed. So I can redo 4405, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't, it's not interesting right now, but I want to show that you can create as much as you can and you can improve your machine learning. Um, you can change your machine learning and then rework and making another prediction or maybe import a new sample and so on. Okay. So, right. I think uh, that's enough. Yeah, I didn't start. I didn't start the training, but if I start the training, it will start again with uh, four, one, two, three. Okay, I will make the prediction, but it's useful. It's it's useless to do that. Sorry. So I think that's enough. So that was the my understanding, and it's not focused on explanation. It's more focused on the usage. Like I said, I want to see behind what how can I apply workflow, and how can I process uh, machine learning, and I can grab or dig a little bit more what is behind. Uh, machine learning and algorithm and artificial intelligence and so on uh, with proper tool to make it work even though I'm not so um, I'm not so uh, let's say advanced or trained as a developer I try to select good tools that is uh, enabled me to work as a PO with machine learning okay Thank you for watching and see you then. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you then. Bye-bye.